Good day, I'm Mofojan Norabilin, an electrical engineering student at CUT, and welcome to my design project video. I have designed a fire alarm system with automated or controlled ventilation, mainly focusing on how the airflow in the room can contribute to fire causing damage to properties and buildings. My system is a smart design that is efficient, effective, and portable with less false alarm. I have in my system two sensors, an LM35 temperature sensor and an MQ2 smoke sensor, which will work together to detect in real-time changes the change in room temperature and the increase in smoke level when there's fire. I've set up a project proposal poster, which will explain in detail how my design came about. As we go through it, I will start with you from explaining my proposal which I did in the introduction by explaining the description of the project and how each part will work. Before designing any system in design project, there must be a detailed block diagram showing an idea of how your inputs and outputs are interlinked. As you can see, I have two inputs which are my main parts the sensors interlinked with the microcontroller unit and leading out to the outputs. The microcontroller unit will link together the readings obtained by the sensors with regards to the changing environmental conditions and thus alerting via alert systems which are my buzzer LEDs and I2C to warn occupants to vacate the premises in the event of fire. I've also went ahead and designed a flowchart a flowchart mainly showing you how my design source code will change from system to system as the readings differ. The flowchart has five steps, starting with the, design, the start or initialization part, the input or output, the process, the decision, and the end or, or termination. Not forgetting the flow line, mainly showing the viewer how the code flows from one system to another. I'm going to focus on the decision part. Decision being that the sensors will read different readings at different times, thus being able to make the system more effective with less false alarm. How the system will behave will be determined by the readings of the sensors, whether the temperature is higher than normal or the smoke level is higher than normal. And then continuing further, I went and designed a practical circuit to test my design with real-time changes on how it works. The design was showing more accurate results and it was working effectively. And then a schematic, detailed schematic of the project to show how each component is linked with each other to make my design a more efficient design. A PCB as you know, a PCB is a printed circuit board, a printed circuit board which constitutes of all the links of the schematic showing more and more into detail on how the connections are made and making the design more easier and more portable to work with. As I'm going to go to the design and show you in details while explaining through everything. First of all, I'm going to insert my source which is my 9v to support the fan and then i'm slowly gonna switch it on as you can see the monitor the lcd displays readings of temperature which is now is 30 32 changing and the smoke level is slowly decreasing as there's no smoke and you can see that the green led is on to show that everything is normal and the fan, the 12 DC fan is my automated ventilation controlled by a relay which causes to switch on and off with regards to change in the environment. I'm going to slowly introduce fire to the system. Firstly, it's trying to show you the readings. The LMP5 will read spontaneous increase in temperature. As it does, it will show an evacuation system, turning the buzzer on and turning the LED on while turning off the fan. 
the temperature this time is above normal and then I'm gonna go to the smoke the MQ2 smoke sensor this as you can see on the monitor being displayed is that the smoke level is above 100 which is normal and the temperature so went down and thus the LED will be on and the buzzer will also be on simultaneously also switching off the fan and the green LED as I remove the factors contributing to fire I'm gonna slowly show you how the system will go back to normal as you can see the DC is on the fan is on and the green LED is on and everything in the screen is displayed as normal as you can see the smoke level is slowly going down and the temperature is normal i thank you for watching my video and hope you learned how we can continue to stay safe and stay alive with fire alarm system thank you